Hey all, my name is Kurt. I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And you're going to have to forgive Trenton today. He's had a tough time. He was in the emergency room last night. I got cellulitis. <laughs> he took his... He t I don't mean to laugh. I you know you do. <laughs> I, he took his lawnmower. God bless him. He was working so hard the last week or so. And now we can let the cat out of the bag. We had a surprise birthday party for your mom last night. Yeah, we couldn't. We didn't yeah, say anything because her, her, her actual on the videos. Yeah, her actual birthday was on Monday. And Trenton's been working as you know what off, trying to get the property all taken care of. And nice because we had like, what, 20 people there for her surprise party. Oof, I invited 40 people. Yeah. It was, was more than 20. Was there? I, I apologize. I was trying to make the rounds. I didn't count. So it was a good time, though. And, and Trenton really, and, and all the kids for that matter, kind of pulled together and especially Trenton, and got everything ready at the house. So in the meantime, though, in his riding lawnmower, he ran over a, a hornet's nest. It was in the ground. I didn't see it. I didn't, no, they, I didn't think it would are, be yeah. a good idea to, to do it when no. I saw it. So, yeah, yeah I, got, I got two uh, hornet stings, one in the thigh, one in the uh, the ankle. And uh, I'm, not, I didn't, I'm not allergic to any kind of flying insect with a, a zebra pattern yeah, no. on it. Um, but I, I, I waited a couple days. It was getting itchy, you know, and it was like, Probably that big. Yeah. And then last night at the surprise party, one of my aunt. I don't know who you were talking. Jamie. About. Cousin. Cousin. Uh, oh, whatever. Cousin Jamie is a nurse, yes. and I showed her. I was like, "Hey, what do you think of this?" And it was like this big at that point, I all mean, red. It, it's and, that red. that big around. <laughs> and she was like, "You need to go get that looked at now, because you have probably have cellulitis, and you could go septic." So I did, and. uh on top of that, I think I'm coming down with some kind of <laughs> congestion uh, stuff. So I might be hacking and coughing and sounding not so great in this oh, video. Oh, man. The whiskey will kill all the germs. Yeah, I think so. The poor, the poor old boy, man. It's right on the inside of the thigh, too, right in that real tender spot. That, I could, would, I would, that could not have felt good. No, I would show no. a picture, but it, it no. we, we'd, the video would probably get taken down. <laughs> um, but we... <laughs> We have a lot of stuff on here that I yeah. know absolutely nothing about. Yeah, let's get to it. I, I had to bring that out because you're a real trooper here. You got a lot going on, but you're still here, ready for the people. Oh, we got to taste do it some for whiskey. The folks. I, we're going to taste some brand new stuff, and I love these kind of videos because these are all brand new to us. The uh -huh. only one up here that we've had a little bit of sip on was this one right over here. We'll get to that here in a little bit, but that we kind of broke open, and you can see quite a few people that were here for the live stream partook in this one right here. Other than that, seriously, dude. I mean, oh, what seriously, happened? what happened? Let's keep going. <laughs> Unbelievable. So You said you were apologizing for me off the bat, so we're good. Golly. Unreal. Anyways, so we've got what I tried to do for you, sir. Yeah. I've heard a lot of good things about every one of these up here, okay? So okay. I'm hoping that this tasting, you know, it goes very well because I'm really looking forward to it. Great things have been said about all of this stuff. So let's just get started right here on our left side, Trenton. This this is RD1. Uh, I don't have anything else other than this Amgerana finish bottle. I think this one costs about 70 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. That was 110 proof. Well, I, I've had a couple Am, Amburana, Amburana, however you want to say it finishes, mm. and I'm, I'm a big fan. I feel like a lot of it's kind of, what do they call it, divisive? Divisive. Divisive. Mm -hmm. Like people either love it or they hate it. Okay. Um, sure, I can I've, get that. I've had the Nulu Amberana finish, mm. the ASW Fiddler Amberana finish, mm. and I think I have one more that's kind of from a smaller, more craft distillery. But okay, I've heard a lot about this one. It seems to be taking the, the whole world by storm. A bunch of folks have done videos on it already, and yeah. we haven't. I haven't even tasted it. Yeah, no, I just, I honestly just broke that one open right before this show. So. Let's give it a try. Yeah. See what we got. I know it's sourced. I don't really know where from, Trenton, but it is sourced. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't say. I don't have any other other products, so. Yeah. They have a couple more uh, that I haven't that I haven't tried out yet, but. With all the hubbub on this one, I got this one first. It's it's a uh, pretty true to the yeah. normal. Oh, or the Penelope Rio. For this finish. That's a honey, too. Yeah. That's a honey, too. Yeah, yeah that's, that's um, something else, too. Yeah, the Fiddler, that's another one we have that's Amburana. With with the Amburana, I feel like you don't get much on the nose apart from that that woody yeah. Amburana because it's very upfront. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty sweet. I'm getting some honey, like mm -hmm. a honey funk to it kind of, sure. too. Reminds I mean, me somewhat of the that. Penelope Rio. Yeah, but the Cinnamon Toast Crunch this is yeah. pretty much the norm. Well, before you pretty take pleasant. a sip, cheers to cellulitis, huh? All right. Woo! Well, hey. You know, I, I, I wish you uh, Godspeed and, and uh, 
speedy recovery. First time I ever had an IV last night. I was scared. I was. Hmm. Kind of like a, it's kind of also mapley in a way, a little bit, I feel like. It is. Or something. So yeah. Like a pecan sweetness or something. Yeah, a little maple. There, it definitely has the cinnamon toast crunch in there. I find it to be, and even at 110 proof, it's it's uh, very it gets very nice on the palate. Mm -hmm. It's that's uh, it goes down real easy. It's super smooth. Um, it's got and now the claim to fame on this is that the Amburana finish isn't as prominent or as heavy as in some of the other ones that are going around right now. It's a little bit lighter on that cinnamon toast crunch, and I can kind of see what they're saying. Well. Yeah. I, you you had told me that when, I think when this first came out we were kind of talking about it and stuff. So what I did is that I poured for us the the um, Fiddler Amberana mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. because I think that one's 120 okay. proof. Oh, okay. So we could kind of gauge the differences right. between the two. Okay. Yeah, let's do that real quick. But full full disclosure, the Fiddler uh, ASW out of Atlanta, Georgia, they did send us that bottle because it's not available in Indiana. So. All right. They did send us that bottle, but we're not gonna we're not gonna say it's good just because they sent it to us. Yeah, I'm burpy right now. I'm sorry, man. It probably was that Coca Cola that you busted open before we started filming, but yeah, you might want to wait till after we're done filming to bust open the Coca Cola. Well, you should wait to eat before we film the video. <laughs> Got you with that one. Yeah, I sure did. Oh boy, yes, you did. More. Um, I'd like to. This is more baking spices and things like that. I find with the with that. It's weird nose because after I smell this and I smell this, there's like the the amberana. In this is almost like non-existent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think this. Now I get like an apricot from that. That's weird. Um, I'm also sick, so <laughs> take that with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. I like that better. I can see why you do. But I'm a fan of Amberana finishes. Yeah. So that one has a little more depth to yeah. it. A little bit more complex. I will tell you this. If this if you've never had an Amberana finish mm -hmm. and you're curious about it, this is a great place to start. It is. It, it, it'll give you a good idea of what it's all about. Yeah. I think it's sure. good one. Kind of yeah. dialed down compared to the filler. Yeah. But. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Our good friend Joe from Echo Spirits Trenton sent us several bottles from Echo. All right. Yeah, and they actually have a barrel proof rye in there too. You might want to dig into and it. You some haven't point told me about this yet. <laughs> it's in there. It, it's in there. I, you know, going with the theme here, I went with the uh, with the barrel proof bourbon. All right. I looked it up online. Of course, we didn't pay for it. Thank you, Joe, for sending it our Thanks. way. I looked it up online. It's about fifty fifty five dollars somewhere in that okay. general range. Uh, it is sourced, but on the label it will tell you it's sourced from Indiana and Kentucky. Okay. Uh, and also, my label's a little scratched there in the back, but I do believe it, that Echo is out of Ohio. Looks like it, yeah. And on the front, Trenton, I believe it says that it's aged, at least aged for more than two years. But this is a blend, so the youngest will be on the label, so at least over two years. And that's that's what I know about this one here. Um, it is, let me check my notes real quick. Yeah, I'll just check the bottom. This one, Trent, is 112.4. And there you have it. Non-chill filter, too. We're only two bottles in here. Really breaking stuff. <laughs> non-chill filter, too, which I always like. I always like a good non-chill filter whiskey. So just just based on the nose, and also I, I know that you just said this age for at least two years, so they're not right. counting some kind of big age, big age statement or anything. Right. But right. It has a little bit of like an attic-y, funky, musky, sure. dirty laundry sure. kind of thing going on in the nose. Yeah. yeah, I get that too. I get that. But like I say all the time, not in a bad way. No, just no. Just kind of a like a signal of, hey, what it's you're woody. about to drink might be a little bit youthful or something. It's woody. It's a little nutty on the nose. It's... Miraculously, I think I have smell a little cantaloupe on the nose. A little melon? I don't know. Well, like a fresh cantaloupe? Yeah. Because for the surprise party, I went and bought a fresh old cantaloupe. And I'm usually pretty good at picking out cantaloupes. People see oh, me yeah? handling the melons <laughs> in the store. <laughs> they see me handling the fresh produce in the store. Uh, yeah? You handle and... a lot of melons, do you? Or I hope not. No. Okay, no. good, good. All right. Um, and... <laughs> 
got a check. You got a track record with melons? What's going on, dude? <laughs> I picked out what I thought was a good cantaloupe, and we were gonna slice it up for a little fruit tray. Okay. And Michelle put it in the the cabinet because she didn't feel like cutting it up right. in the time frame that we had. Sure. And I walk out in the kitchen, and I was like, "What is that smell? It smells like like rotting flesh." And it turns out <laughs> to be the cantaloupe. Not that this smells like rotten flesh, but it, it, it smells like it smells like more of a maybe an overripe cantaloupe. Okay. 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 So we came back. Yeah. We came back down rotten to ride fresh there, to ride a, right there in the middle yeah. with you. Sure. Yeah. 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 Sure. I could do that. But I do get cantaloupe. All right. I do. All right. Well, let's taste it. Hmm. Keep in mind, because I know you, I know you very well. Keep in mind before you comment, 50 bucks, right around 50 bucks or so, barrel proof. Go ahead. I, 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 I'm, I surprisingly am struggling to come up with words mm -hmm. at the moment. So I'm going to take another sip, kind of formulate a That's bit. That's fine. I, I, I can, it is, I know, I know he's wanting to get it out there because it is a little youthful on the palate with the oak. The oak on the palate's a little bit youthful. However, I feel there's some other notes in there. I really get a really nice pecan note out of that. And I also get some baking spices out of that. I get a little bit of sweetness of some sort, a little bit, but there, there, there definitely is a youthful oak note in there of some sort going on. I'll, sure. I'll say for me, the, the finish is a lot nicer than the, the front of the palate. Okay. At the front, I get like a, a youthful, bittery kind of oak, mm -hmm. followed by a little bit of like a rubber band-ish kind of thing. Yeah, I kind of enveloped that all together with the oak note that we're speaking of. There are some, a little bit of, uh, I hate the word, I don't want to use off-putting because that's not the case. Um, it is It is undoubtedly a youthful oak. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, I've said that several times, but the overall package for me, for 50 bucks, being barrel proof, I think it's priced correctly at least. Yes. At least I think it's priced correctly. It's not put out there at seventy, eighty dollars like it's right. you know, or ninety dollars yeah. or something like that, because it's not that. I think it's priced correctly for what they're delivering. Mm -hmm. I think with a little bit more age in there it really would be spectacular to tell you the truth. Yeah. I think I, it'd be really good. I think the the youthfulness of the oak mm -hmm. and then I'm I'm still I, I think I taste it again like a little bit of like a rubber band kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But the finish is nice. The front could use a little bit of, of support and I think that some age could could really assist in that. Yeah. But Okay. Fifty bucks, I'm not yeah, I'm not mad about it. Yeah, that's the thing. Let's keep that in mind. All right, let's move on. Heard so much about this bottle. Barrel Bourbon Company. As we know, they're like one of the premier blenders that's in the game. Yes. Right now. That's a fact. And uh, this this is batch thirty five and it's gonna run you about eighty, eighty-five dollars. We all know that they did send us this. They send us this bottle, so we yes. thank them. Thanks everybody at Barrel Bourbon for sending us this. Very nice of you. Specifically, uh, Shelby. She's Shelby, Shelby has sent okay. us, I think, batch thirty to thirty-five. Okay. And they've all been pretty good. Yep. But I'm interested to see this one. Yeah, I've heard a lot about it. And thank you, Shelby. I know Trenton does most of. Uh, communications with you folks and but we do appreciate that very very much 117 proof uh, the youngest age in the blend is six years now I did write the blend down what you have Trenton is a six seven and eight year Indiana bourbon a seven and 13 year Tennessee bourbon now they're getting in that game with the Tennessee 13, okay mm -hmm. seven and 13 and an eight year Kentucky bourbon the overall mash bill for this bottle, for the blend, is 78% corn, 18% rye, and 4% malted barley. So that'll give you, and what I love about Barrel Bourbon Company is all the information can be found by anyone. It's, yeah, it's plain is, as day nice. on their website, and I always appreciate that. I wish though that they could, and I'm sure there's NDAs involved in everything, just tell us who it's from. So when, I see, when I hear Tennessee, I'm like, oh, that's yeah, probably yeah, Dickel. Yeah. Yep. When you hear Kentucky, it's like, but it oh, might not be. Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, I get it. But let us know. Yeah. I know they can't, but. Yeah. 
Um, here, now hear me out. All right, go ahead. I'm just now getting to it. Take a balloon, like a latex balloon. Yeah. Crush up some like Smarties in like a, a what do they call that? A pestle. Yeah, more and pestle. pestle. Sure. And sure. then like coat the the balloon in the Smarties. <laughs> there you have it. It. There you have it. Yeah. That's that's it. See, balloon you put, you balloon put, crusted <laughs> Smarties. And I love me some Smarties. Yeah. Oh, Smarties are good. I love me some Smarties. No doubt about that. It, it's giving me like it does a have a candyish type it's giving thing me a to Smarties it. vibe. It's almost like yeah. dusty too, but yeah. not not in like a in an old yeah. library book kind of way, yeah. but like a sweet dusty. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Smarties is like yeah. like an old person thing. Sure. Uh, and that's for, I'm, I'm with that. <laughs> I like me some Smarties. Been around for a long time. They nice have. nice nose. Yeah. Could also be like that Flintstone vitamininess that you might get from like a Dickel. Uh, that I might be that transferring yet. to the nose, but. Yeah. It, it, it could be in a positive way. Yeah. Because I, I like I the nose. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I think it's really good too. So hopefully the palate will follow suit. I think it does. Wow, that's tasty. It almost reminds me of like a finished product. Like a, a slight finish of like a port or like it's got like a real sweet fruity Mm -hmm. kind of element mm -hmm. going on in there yeah and it's really yeah, it's like, like kind of in really your face. deep dark <clears throat> cheery thing going on in there or something like that just like that you have to do it like that in order to really understand it proper Trent. uh-huh uh-huh yeah mm -hmm. excuse me there's the smarties again wow yeah it's got some candy notes to it I get a little bit of some dark cherry. There's definitely some baking spices going on in there for me personally. I really like this a lot. Just stick, stick the schnoz like <sighs> directly in there and tell me you don't get like a latex glove. Yeah, no, I, I understand where you're coming from. You said yes. the balloon thing and the Smarties and I get it. I get it. I should really I write no tasting notes or like nosing notes for companies. If you want to, if you want a, a Trenton tasting note or a, anything, hit us up on an email. I'd love to write you a synopsis on what I think I'm your sure. product tastes and smells like. Okay, I'm sure that will go over well. I'm currently flooded with inquiries, so don't don't mm. be offended if I don't get mm. back to you or anything. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's why that's been my side biz, you know. I know you're yapping there a little bit, but I can't stop sipping that. It's awfully good. You know, the proof is, is right there. I, lo I love, any, when, when you get to that higher proof range, for me personally, and we've talked about it before, you know, some folks like that really, really high stuff. It's really not for me. This 110 to 120 area is what, it's what I like when, you're, when we're talking higher proof. Yeah. You know, I also like lower proof, but when we're talking higher proof, the 110, I believe this one's just a touch under 120. This is a grouping that I really enjoy. All right, all right. Sipping neat, for yeah. that matter. And yeah. I really like this one. I mean, this is very possible, Trent. This could possibly make it into our top five shelf bourbons for 2023. That's I, what I feel about it. I agree. It's very possible that it could. Uh, the year's not over, of course, so we don't know that. But it, yeah. I, we'll I, see. it has that possibility. I think it's very, very good. $80, I don't think you can miss with that one. Mm -hmm. All right, this last one is sent to us from, or actually, the idea was given to us by Jeff. I was going to say, I thought we bought this like together. Yeah, we together. bought this. Yeah, we did. My apologies. And this is 200 bucks. I will I will tell you this. This is $200, this bottle. Almost but didn't buy it. Jeff messaged me and said, if you ever find anything, the Buckner's 13-year or 16-year, I think, is the other one. Buy it. That's what he said. It's It's great. Now... Remember, I, I went in and I saw this and I walked out because it was 200 bucks. But then I was surfing my phone and I found out 199.99 is MSRP. That's what it is. So they were not overcharging. I him hawed around forever about buying it because I hate spending that kind of money without knowing what it is. But I did it because I'm, I'm figuring my man Jeff knows what he's talking about. Oh yeah, Jeff knows. Yeah, no, he, Jeff he knows does. What he's talking about. This is Augusta Distillery. All right, it's a Buckner's 13-year uh, single barrel. It's 121.9 proof. It's also non-chill filtered. Cast strength. 
I don't know a whole lot about this company. I really don't. And I'll learn more. Uh, so, but that's what I know right now at this point. So Trenton, let's find out if it's worth the price tag. That is d d dark. I remember from the live show, Kent and I tasted it, the first taste of it on the live stream. Like that's d dark. Yeah, even on, even on, even the palette. aromas coming out of there are rich, super dark. No light, no light aromas at all. No honey, no caramel, no none of that. It goes right into molasses, real deep dark baking spices. It's like a molasses covered prune. Sure. Since you yeah. since you yeah. made you forced me to try a prune on a video. I actually go to Costco <laughs> now and I buy the five pound bags of the, of the dried yeah, yeah. prunes. And yeah. I eat them all the time. I think they're delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's giving me that kind of note. It's a little bit chocolatey for me too. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Like a milk, dark chocolate? Dark. Okay. Everything's dark. Everything's dark for me in here. Mm. Really, really neat. I said it was 13 here? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's pretty tasty. <laughs> That's... What that is, Trenton, <clears throat> that's bold. It is telling you, you know, I am Augusta Distillery, and this is Buckner's 13. Sit me if you dare. That's what it's telling you. It's like... You know, it did just tell me that. I heard it. <laughs> it does. It's like, I mean, it, it doesn't lack in flavor. It doesn't lack in aromas. Again, everybody's everybody's flavor profile is different. Some may like it, some may not. I understand that. But this is an effort that's out there. And it's like that that is is making a statement. You this, know, this it's is making a statement. This is reminding me very much of like a dark chocolate covered espresso bean. Because mm -hmm. I do get a little bit of coffee in okay. there towards I the can, back. I can roll a little, with that. A little bit of a bitter. Sure. It's like coffee chocolate. Um Coffee, chocolate, what did I just say? Coffee, chocolate. Espresso bean? Espresso, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting some real... I'm surprised you like that note. You're not usually a big coffee, I'm, espresso, I'm, mocha kind of person. I'm really enjoying that immensely, to tell you the truth. It's, uh, it's deep, it's dark, it's rich, it's complex. Uh, I wouldn't call it super sweet, <clears throat> would you, Trenton? No. No. It's not super sweet, so mm -hmm. keep that in mind. Yeah, this is not a sweet bomb. This is this has got a lot going on, but it's not super sweet to me. This is one of those Trenton that that I would probably have uh, an ounce or an ounce and a half. Call it a day. Kind of kind of more of like a, a, a rich dessert. -y yeah, kind of like an end your day with that kind of pour. As we're speaking, and the finish is 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 coming through it's a little drying mm -hmm. on the back end just a touch just a little bit i love it though i have to admit I, I really think it's jeff man you're not wrong this is pretty spectacular stuff i think it's very good the price unfortunately mm -hmm. is not so good if they were following a similar pricing model of like 10 bucks a year for 130 i'd buy that all day 150 long. or something like that i can i can kind of understand it um i i usually am the opposite I know when yeah. I argue this point but I'm waffling I'm almost at the point where I'm glad I bought it at 200 waffling yeah because I'm, I'm, I'm I don't usually know. I'm usually I'm wavering I'm waffling I'm I'm like uh, but I you know I you know when I run out and buy another one this one's done I don't know but for 200 dollars I think it's pretty darn good dude now of course if you can buy it for 150 that's even better I get yeah that. it's not cheap. It's not cheap, but it's one to think about. I'm gonna have to put waffling in my Rolodex of, <laughs> you should. of words to, to use. You should. All right, let's let's bring this to a close. I want you to try to give me your one through four, your 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 last, your least favorite to your most favorite of the lineup tonight, if you can. There's a lot, of, and I'll talk about my factors quickly. Um, barrel, I think, is going to be first. I really like their their sea grass. Is like one of the I think the last barrel things that I actually purchased. Okay. Um, just to enjoy leisurely yeah. and stuff, I think it's good. This is, I think, like you said, this could end up in my top five for just like non-allocated stuff. If yeah, you see one bottles. of these, I yeah. think it's 
the best batch of just the barrel that I've ever had. It stands a great chance to get on that list. It's that good. So this is my first. This is my second. It's delicious. I wish the price wasn't as as much, but still it's good. Mm -hmm. This is good. Um, I honestly probably wouldn't be a buyer of it just because I know that ASW Fiddler, the Amberana is so much better. Mm -hmm. I would probably hold off and try and find a way to get that. Mm -hmm. But I think if you're not into Amberana or you're trying to determine if you like it, yeah. I think this is a, a great place to start, especially yeah. for the for the yeah. price. The Echo, I think, has good. This is gonna be my last place, but I think it has some good starting legs. But I think it could use a little bit of a little bit more age before they kind of start putting it out there a little bit more. Okay, but I'm not mad. Fifty bucks for a two year and a barrel proof. I have to commend them on the on the effort and what yeah. they gave us, and also with the price point that yes. you can purchase it at. Yeah, somebody put some work into that for yeah. sure. There's so, no doubt about that. What about you? What are you thinking? Well, I'm not going to explain everything like you did because you went through them really, really nicely and did Thank a good you, job. Yeah. yeah, but mine's going to be different than you. I'm going to have this one as my first place. It's just something about that that just really strikes me and it holds my attention. Mm -hmm. However, barrel is in my second place, but this one is hard to find. This one I you would you would list as allocated. Oh, okay. You know for sure. Yeah. Because you just can't find it. Yeah. You know here and there and everywhere. Uh, barrel you can usually find on your shelf somewhere. So keep that in mind. That. That is extremely good, and I'm hoping it ends up in our top five of 2023 shelf bottles. I'm going to put that in my second place. I am going to put this one, too, also, Trent, in my third place. I think for an Ambriana finish, I thought it was super smooth, a little bit sweet, mm -hmm. and had a lot of great flavors. You yeah. know, it wasn't, wasn't complex and everything, and I get that, but it was a very enjoyable pour. Yeah. And this is in my last place, and only because of what the competition was on the bar top. I really feel that we had some we had some really good stuff up here. Good job and, putting and this lineup together. And I was glad to be able to taste all this. So it's been real yeah. good. And thanks for, for toughing it out here tonight and making it happen for everybody out there. I'm, I'm sure they appreciate it. I'm, I'm sure they appreciate it. I'm gonna go to bed after this video right. when I get home. Probably a good thing. Why don't you dream of melons? Something like that. All right, that's all I got for you today. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. We'll see you next time. Right down here with Trent and I in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.